In the vibrant heart of Johannesburg, 21-year-old Thandi embodies the dual life of an aspiring artist by the day and a sex worker by night. Her existence, a testament to resilience and survival for herself and her little sister. Thandi's reality is shadowed by the omnipresent fear of HIV, a threat magnified by her circumstances and reflected in the stark statistics that young women like her in Sub-Saharan Africa face one of the world's highest HIV prevalence rate. Halfway across the world, in San Francisco, Michael lives openly as a proud gay man. His life, though, filled with joy and community, carries the underlying fear of HIV, a concern that is particularly acute within the gay community due to higher statistical risk of infection. Thandi and Michael, living continents apart, are united by the same ripple of anxiety that HIV spreads in their lives. Their stories are a mirror to millions who live each day with the fear of HIV hanging over them like a dark cloud. But what if there was a way to push this cloud away? What if there was a shield against this dread? A prophylactic measure that could significantly lower the risks and let love and life flow a little bit more freely. Enter PrEP or pre-exposure prophylaxis. PrEP is more than just a medical marvel. It is a symbol of hope in the battle against HIV. It's a daily pill that when taken consistently can dramatically reduce the risk of HIV infection. These tablets, when taken daily and consistently, work by blocking the virus from establishing a permanent stronghold in your body. Now, let's hover over the globe and sprinkle some figures to understand the magnitude of the shield. As per UNAIDS, around 39 million people worldwide were living with HIV at the end of 2021. Every day, 4,000 people, including 1,100 young people aged 15 to 24 years, acquire HIV. If this trend continues, around 1.5 million people will acquire HIV every year. Yet, the armory of PrEP remains underutilized. UNAIDS have set a target of ensuring the availability of PrEP for 10 million people at substantial risk of HIV accessing PrEP by 2025. Yet, only 1.6 million people were accessing PrEP in 2021, falling well short of this target. It's especially crucial for certain cohorts of individuals to have access to PrEP, like gay and bisexual men, transgender population, sex workers, and individuals in serodiscordant relationships. In countries where PrEP has been approved, individuals who are at substantial risk of HIV can access it typically through healthcare providers. It's advisable to contact local health departments or HIV prevention organizations to learn about accessing PrEP in a specific region. Let's shift our lens back to Thandi. In South Africa, where she hails from, only a fraction of the population has access to PrEP. The barriers? They range from lack of awareness, stigma to economic hurdles. Meanwhile, in the US, where Michael resides, PrEP has been more accessible, yet not without its share of obstacles. High costs and lack of insurance cover often stands as tall barriers. The disparity is stark, yet the hope that PrEP brings along is universal. Governments, NGOs, and health systems worldwide are striving to bridge this gap to extend the shield of PrEP to every vulnerable individual. But the crusade against HIV is a collective endeavor. It demands our awareness, empathy, and action. It's a narrative of how science, policy, and community can intertwine to script a tale of triumph against terror. Each stride towards making PrEP accessible is a stride towards the world where Thandi's artistry and Michael's pride aren't overshadowed by fear. It's not just about preventing a virus, it's about nurturing dreams, 
identities and life in its full spectrum. That's it, folks. I hope you found this episode useful and it has given you some informative insights into this important strategy for preventing HIV. Remember to follow us on Twitter at Real Sex and Bites and me personally at Farm ID Expert for more updates. Until then, stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay safe. I'm your host, Abhishek, and I'll see you in the next episode.